Hey, y'all. I believe it's March the 24th, 2019. Thank you for joining me real briefly. I just wanted to holler at y'all real quick. I left a video up for a couple days now right there where people can find it right there at the beginning. And people have been looking at it. It's got 100 views. That's pretty good, you know. That's pretty good. People can check out my documentaries. And, you know, some got hundreds of views. Stuff like that. It's a good idea to leave it up sometimes, I guess, you know. Although I like keeping up with y'all. I like having updates. And this is one of those updates. So gaggle of liars. Just so y'all know, get straight to the point. A lot of people told me that. That this video, you know, I'm honing my... uh skills and i'm getting right down to the nitty gritty just as soon as possible and yeah that's basically what i'm trying to do uh i wanted to point y'all's attention to there's actually a, a number of comments and stuff i really appreciate all y'all out there the little community out there appreciate y'all and i got this comment right here at the top and i wanted to just take a look at it, it said uh it's from johnny favorite it says didn't some girl from Parkland just kill herself? Uh, she survived the alleged shooting, to which I replied, and you can go see it if you want to, or whatever. All right, and I was learning Havana on the Glockenspiel, so I wanted to show y'all that. But then also, you know, uh, what he was talking about, this girl, and, you know, only certain people really, really keep up with it for the day-to-day. So as you know, Google, they know who I am. They know what I look for. So as soon as Parkland and stuff, you know, comes up, they like to tell me about it and they say it's trending. I don't know if it's trending. Is it? I mean, I know that I'm interested in it. And so that's why they show me. But is it trending? Are a lot of people talking about this? Sydney Aiello, a survivor of Parkland school shooting. I don't know her from Eve, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know who this person is. Never heard of this person. All right, S Sydney Aiello, who survived. Uh, we're just about to get, I want to keep it real brief. We're going to get into how this is a sickness. This is a psychosis. This is mental illness being forced upon everybody. Just uh, simply through y'all terminology. So Sydney Aiello, and we don't even have to go into the article. It says right there at the beginning, who survived the 2018 massacre at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. All right, why? Because she was on campus that day. It's like, dude, is everybody in the Fort Lauderdale area like a survivor of that shooting? I mean, like, where is the limitations, right? Because if somebody gets shot down the street from my house, I don't go ahead and say, oh, I survived that, right? It's in a different building, like way over there, okay? So that's the thing. We're not trying to downplay this person who's allegedly a person. I believe it is. She went ahead and took her life over there in Parkland. I want you to see these pictures. You got this picture, and there's another one that's kind of popular. Maybe if I type in Parkland, uh, if I actually type it in, it'll show me the other picture. Because they showed me that picture, and they showed me another picture, and I couldn't help but notice something that I wanted to point out to y'all. Let's see if we go to the news. It's going to be all over the news, right? Sydney Ayalo and this guy, whoever that guy is. I don't know nothing about it. Oh, Ty Thompson, principal of Marjorie. He's a <laughs> I don't even know about that article yet, you guys, but we're about to dive into that pretty soon. All right, Sydney Ayalo. They had that picture of her, but they had another picture of her um, that I wanted to kind of compare. Here, let me just throw it up there. Look. All right, see, that's the picture I'm talking about. And I don't know this lady. Who, who knows this lady? The thing is, um, you know, the pictures are very telling. Big, happy smile. Oh, I'm peaceful. Oh, I'm loving life. Oh, I love to do yoga, this and that. Smiling for the camera. I don't know if this is on YouTube or, like, where do they get this picture from? Who is taking this picture? Because it's highly narcissistic picture. It's very weird. Who is taking this picture? There's a story behind that picture, but they're not going to tell you any of the story. This is just a random news thing. Who cares who it is? CBS News, Parkland, shooting survivor. No, you're not a survivor. That's the thing about it. She's not claiming to be a survivor that I know of because she's no longer with us. But the thing is, she is not a survivor of anything. 
All right. And if you read through these articles, uh, let me see. This one's very long. It's kind of long, right? All right. All the articles are going to be the same anyways. Just so that you know, if you go to any of the articles, they're basically going to say, oh, this is a survivor from Parkland School Massacre and her best best friend, her bestie ever. Uh, Metal Pollock and stuff, they, you know, they were best friends for life. And so she got PTSD because she was on campus. She got survivor's guilt because she's certainly a survivor. <laughs> Even though she was not in the same building, she was, who knows where she was on campus. All right. She's got survivor's guilt and PTSD, and that's why she took her own life. All right. So that's what you're going to see. And they might reference her mother. They might reference her father. Not the father very much, but they might take some quotes from the mother and stuff and say, oh, this is terrible. Oh, she had PTSD. Basically, and I've seen it already. I don't know how many articles are going to say. Basically, she's the 18th victim of Parkland. I've literally seen that in an article. <laughs> so that she's the 18th person to lose her life over Parkland and stuff like that. All right, as though Nicholas Cruz is still haunting us out here, out in the wide open, he's just haunting everybody, and they're just killing themselves now. All right, it's sick. It's a mental illness, and that's what we're dealing with. Like, a lot of people like to put a, a smile on, on top of this and tell you, like, oh, look, here's the news. No, it's not. This is sick mental illness. All right? So basically what's going to happen here. If you notice those two pictures, they're kind of telling and stuff. I don't know anything about this lady, but that is a fake smile if i ever seen one, right? It's very big and shiny. Oh, you're good at smiling, but it's fake, and you do it the same way every time, right? Probably. I bet you find a whole bunch of pictures with her face looking just like that, tilted just like that, cocked just like that, and it's fake as hell. Her smile is fake. Everybody likes to call things fake. This lady's smile is fake, and I'm not saying that because, oh, I, I'm hating on this lady. You know, God rest her soul and stuff, man. This is it's terrible. But people are lying, especially these parents. And we've covered, uh, as far as parents go, and as far as lying goes, as far as suicide of children go, typically you have the parents blaming this, that, and the other. Meanwhile, uh, it's of my humble opinion that they're to blame. The parents are to blame. They are to blame, number, number one, 100%, all right? <laughs> Every single time. Right? But they always want to blame school or school bullying or this and that. Now they're blaming PTSD. Hey, how about you blame all the drugs that are flooded uh, all around your community? How about that? Right? These same very these same drugs that some of them are psychotropic, some of them tell you you're gonna you, you're gonna either kill yourself or you're gonna kill a whole mass of people. All right, that's what the drugs that are flooding y'all streets, and I'm talking specifically Parkland, it's flooding y'all streets. All right, there's nobody, the family structures have totally dissolved. It's disgusting. All right, there's this young lady had nobody to fall back on at all. I don't know if there's drugs in her system, but I'll bet you a whole bunch of money is drugs up in her system and stuff. She went out taking her life. And you'll notice how none of these articles say how she took her life. All right, and that's kind of curious. I can't say this why how she took her life, but you notice how none of them are talking about it. As she took her life with a gun, oh, best believe, we uh, <laughs> they they couldn't shout it loud enough. She took her life with a gun, so that's obviously not what happened. The whole thing is mental illness, All right, and that's what we're dealing with. People making all sort of excuses. People make excuses their whole life. People point fingers their whole life saying, oh, that person's wrong and I'm a victim. No, that's not really how this is working. All right? I don't think that's how this works. Anyways, it's March the uh, 24th, uh, 2019. I appreciate all y'all. And I'll holler at y'all with something real good, real good soon. So I'll holler at y'all. I appreciate y'all. Hey y'all, it is March the 24th, 2019. I'd like to thank you for joining me. All right, we've got some breaking news. In fact, three hours old. <laughs> All right, I hot off the, thought I would tack this on the end, obviously, because it's appropriate. For the second time in a week, a Parkland student has died in the parent suicide. And here's the thing we're going to read this together. Uh, for the first time, all right? So I have no idea what it says in this. I cannot vouch for what's in this by Dakin Adoni, 
and Kevin Conlon of CNN, all right? CNN says this, all right? They're official. A second Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School student has died in what police are calling an apparent suicide, and that's a quote, all right? Is it any of our business? No, not really, but we're going to get to the bottom of it. The student who was enrolled at the Parkland, Florida school at the time of death has not been publicly identified. All right, so some mystery person out there that may or may not exist. The death occurred Saturday evening and is under investigation, said Coral Springs Police spokesman Tyler Reek. It's unclear under what circumstances the student died or what connection, if any, the student had to last year's shooting at the high school. All right, that might as well be the whole article, that paragraph right there. Should be, it should say at the headlines to say CNN won't have no idea what we're talking about. All right, and then this should be the entire article. It's unclear under what circumstances the mystery student died or what connection, if any, the student had to last year's high school shooting. All right, so, <laughs> so, but apparently it's, it's for some reason, and now it's a headline and stuff. We're talking about breaking news. You're going to see dozens of people copy and paste this right here. News of the student's death. Uh, comes as the Parkland community is mourning the passing of a former Marjorie Stoneman Douglas student, Sydney Ayalo, who died last Sunday. Ayalo, who survived the 2018 massacre at the, at the school, took her own life after suffering from survivor's guilt, all right, allegedly. All right. So I was guilt and being diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder. Allegedly, her mother told CNN, you're going to hear from her father? Hell no. Never. You never will. I mean, isn't that obvious? All right. A funeral for Ayalo, who was a student at Florida Atlantic University, took place uh, on, uh, on Friday. A funeral for 17 people, 14 students, three staff members were killed by a gunman. Allegedly opened fire at the high school on February 14th, 2018. The shooter who confessed has been indicted. He's been indicted on 17 counts of murder. All right. But the thing is, it, has, it may or may not have anything to do with this other person. But we threw it all in an article. We're named, well, we're named CNN. All right. We're the king of, of news and we're the authority for y'all. So just to finish it up, it says this. If you are someone you might, uh, you, that you might know might be at risk of suicide, well, you give them this hotline. All right. That's going to solve their problems. That's going to save their life. I'm CNN's Ray Sanchez and Diane Gallag Gallagher and Meredith Edwards because none of these people can write an article by them damn selves, all right? <laughs> CNN, all right? It's March the 24th, uh, 2019. I appreciate y'all. I'll holler at y'all.